Hello and welcome to the Social Canvas. My name is Carol and today I'm going to show you how to paint Jeffrey the Giraffe. Uh, you can join in with whatever you have, whether it's acrylic paints, um, coloured pencils, markers, or if you just want to draw it, that's fine with me. I'm going to, uh, if you're using acrylic paints, you need some water. Uh, I'm using some small brushes, a medium brush here, small detailed brush at the side here. Um, and um, I've got some whites and blues, some yellows and reds and brown. Brown, you know, that's the predominant colour of the background of the giraffe. So we're going to go with that and hopefully um, he'll turn out just fine. <laughs> So, for Jeffrey, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to, um, first of all, I'm just going to outline him. So let me uh, see how I can do that. So first I think I'm going to do it with a small brush. Uh, so I'm going to just dip my brush. Always need some paper towel. Um, and I'm going to just um, get a brown on my, if you've got any, any colour will do, whether it's a grey, a black, a brown, any of those will do. And I'll put a little bit of red with it just for a little bit of, a little bit of blue but any any color really is good small brushes don't hold a lot of paint so you will have to uh, go back to it again so I'm going to start with his head shape so right at the top of his head there's kind of like a bump like that and then once you've rounded the bump we're going to put some little uh, I want to call horns but they're not really horns I don't know what you call them <laughs> but uh, they're kind of like a kind of a roundish shape like so I'm going right off my canvas paper which is what I'm using today and then when I've done that I'm going to come down here I'm going to leave a gap there where the eye is and come down like that so come out leaving a gap just a bit like that because the eyelashes are coming in now I just want to so I know where they're going Okay, and then I'm going to do the ear. So the ear is going to come out like this. Okay. And the other ear is going to be similar in shape and size. Like so. And then his chin kind of comes round and down like that from there. And that's the shape of his face. I'm going to give his neck an angle out to the side. So I'm going to start sort of slim and then I come a little bit wider as I'm coming down like that. So then I'm going to just give this ear sort of a little bit of a uh, an inner ear if you like. <laughs> The shape of the inner ear anyway, like that. And then for the eyes, as I said, there's some big eyelashes going out there. So I'm going to start here and do the big eyelashes. Now with these colours, we can, you can do the colours as you go. But if you want to do another colour on the top afterwards, that's fine. So with his eye, I'm going to bring that bit down there like that. And then I'm going to do the same thing this side. So again, just the eyelashes. I'll do three of those like that. Coming in to about there. And then the eye again coming down to about there. Don't worry about how wide your paint marks are. That's not a problem. And then his nose. I'm going to start up here. Again, I'm doing a similar thing to that, only the other way around. And bring it all the way around like this so let's just make the biggest part of it first all the way around like that and then once you've got that in I'm going to put a nostril in here so it's kind of like a teardrop shape I'm going to paint this in a different colour in a minute. But... And then I'm going to give him a funny mouth. I think I'm going to have him smiling. 
come into the side like that. I'm gonna have him. I'm gonna have him. His mouth on the side a little bit like that. Let's paint that back in a bit more. And then that's the basis of our giraffe. How easy was that, right? I'm gonna put a um, a bow tie on my giraffe, but I think I'll do that at the end. Now, as for his um, colouring. You add a little bit of water, uh, sorry, a little bit of white to your brown, you'll make a very light brown. Hopefully you've got a brown, if not you can mix yellow and red and add a bit of white in there and then that'll be a similar colour. And so we're going to put some, uh, I'm going to miss this bit up here because I want to put a bow tie in. This is where you can make the shapes as interesting, as fun as you want, but they're really like a... Um, not a leopard print, but obviously a giraffe print. So it's just different shapes, really. Coming in from the side, you don't have to make them all the same size. You can make some a bit bigger, some a bit smaller. Round, square. Like this. A bit more white. Keep to get your water. If you're having struggling keeping up, don't forget you can press the pause button and go back and uh, go over any bits that you couldn't keep up with. Okay, I think I'm going to do a splodge in the middle there. I've got a bit too much water on that one, just to have a bit different shape going on. You can see I'm using some plastic tablecloth underneath here so I don't make a mess, which is a good idea, of course. Now, on his face, I'm going to use this same with this light brown colour, but I'm going to put some accents on over the top. So I'm getting brown and white, and I'm going to paint in pretty much all of his face, well not all of it, but almost all of it, and then I'm going to put accents on top, so. It's always good to have those lines so you can keep inside them. So I'm using a small brush here, but um, honestly, you could have used a bigger one. I'm trying to keep inside my lines, the one outside a little bit. It's easier with a small brush to keep inside your lines, but. Okay. And now I'm going to put a line down the middle, I think. And I'm going to do this side a little bit lighter. I may switch to a bigger brush in a minute, because if you switch to a slightly bigger one, yes. It's not so easy to get in the little crevices, but it's um, better to cover. You don't see your brush marks so much. So I'm going to leave that there, and then I'm going to give him some, again, as we're going around here, a bit like we did down here, I'm going to give him some... Um, marks all around his chin like that and you can just below his mouth on each side of that chin like that all the way up towards his ear and towards his eye like that uh, I'm going to make it a little bit darker brown on this side. So I'm just going to grab the brown rather than mix it with any white. I'm going to go around the lashes a little bit. So I'm just going to make this side a little bit darker because, you know, there's a shadow and we want to see the difference in the shadow and the giraffe. So let's just go over this side in particular, 
with a bit more brown. So I'm giving it another coat of brown on this side only because we want to see the difference between the two sides. And then I'm coming right between the eyes on this one. Like so. Now the nose of the giraffe, again, um, I'm, this is going to end up black, his nostrils, but I wanted to do them in brown first before we got too far. And um, so let's do the ears next. Again, I'm going to give it a light brown with the brown and the white on this area of the ear. And then I'm going to go darker on the inside section of the ear. Can bring it all the way up there. Jeffrey's going to look very dapper when he's got his bow tie on. So if you're using acrylic paints, always remember to get a little bit more water if you're paint's not flowing very well. It came out a bit darker. All right, so now I'm going to grab some brown again. It does dry quite quickly, this paint, so you can go over again relatively quickly. I'm just giving a little bit of darker tone on that bottom bit because I said this is going to be lighter. I think I might just put black in, in the middle of his ear, actually. So I'm just giving that side a little bit darker brown by giving it two coats like that. And we'll do the same on his little markings. Let's give them another coat just on this side. Of course you can do your markings different colours if you want to. It'd be fun to give them different colours. It can be multicoloured, Jeffrey. <laughs> okay, I am going to go over the eyelashes again. You can see I'm using my point of my brush to lightly touch it and then go over it again like that. Like so. And then I'll do the same again on this side. Again, some water is always roll my brush on my palette because it gives me a better point. All right, Jeffrey, you're looking good. Looking good, Jeffrey. Just gonna give him another marking right just there. That marking's gonna be a bit bigger. Okay, Jeffrey. Let's mark out. Let's get some black and we'll mark out the eyes. You know, wash your brush off and uh, wipe it on some paper. I like to get the point back again on the glasses. Uh, on the um, glasses. <laughs> on the on the brush. All right, so what we're going to do first is let's do the eyes. Now I'm going to do a circle in the middle of my eye like that, and then I'm going to fill in around it with the black. Very carefully and slowly. Plenty of time. His eyes kind of bulge out at the side of his head a little bit, don't they? Same thing over here. Let's circle in the middle, roughly in the same place as the other side. But if it's not, don't worry about it. Or if you filled it in all black and you forgot, you can always go back and put some white on when it's dry.
All right, see how he's coming to life now. Good old Jeffrey. I'm going to do his nostrils now. Just paint those in a bit more black. So when you need a, you can do this with a marker if you feel it's easier than painting it. But you do need a small brush to get a good uh, go around the areas easily. All right, Jeffrey. Right, I'm going to actually do this part of the ear black. Um, yeah, let's do it all black. Just pull it right in towards your face like that. And a bit of water again. And do the same thing on this side. I'm using canvas paper. If you're using a canvas, brilliant, or even just any paper, as long as it doesn't get all, um, buckly um, then you should be good okay so from here I'm going to mark out actually his um, around his markings on his on his neck because it does stand out a lot better when you're painting it in so let's do that get it all the way out to the side too As I said, if you're finding it hard with the small paintbrush, then just go get a black marker and do that bit with that. As I said, I'm going to put in his bow tie before I do any more painting. So for the bow tie, it's just like a, um, like a, um, say a butterfly, but that's not the right uh, word I was looking for. <laughs> because you kind of just do it like a square in the middle like that, and then a shape. like that each side. Mine's not perfect uh, shape, but uh, you can fix it however you like. And then I'm, what I'm going to do at the bottom here is I'm just actually making that wider at the bottom because that's where it's folded and it's got a bit of a shadow on it. I'm going to give that some nice colours in a minute. Okay, Jeffrey, you've got some lovely lips there, Jeffrey, but I'm going to probably put some teeth in. So I'm going to go over this line very softly like that. Uh, you need a nice point. Again, if you want to use a marker, then use a marker. If not, make sure you roll your brush. And I'm going to give him some teeth. So, teeth. He's got a big cheesy smile. There you go. <laughs> Right, so for his eyelashes, I am going to go back over them with some black too, because I think they stand out a lot better. That's why I said I'd like to start with a lighter colour and see how it goes. Obviously the ends of the eyelashes are a lot thinner, so you have to sort of pull your brush off as you're getting towards the ends. You can lean in a little bit with your brush and then just lift it off as you get towards the end there. Or you can start at the end very lightly and then get a bit thicker as you're going in like that. Doesn't he look smart? Let me just fill that in a little bit. Yes, you do, Jeffrey. Yes, you do. Okay, so again, I think I want to outline a little bit more, so I'm going around again uh, with black. You could have done this in the beginning. If you're w watching this and you're going to decide to paint it a bit later, then outline it in black to begin with, but I try not to do too dark of a colour in case I make any mistakes 
and I need to um, um, amend it. A lighter colour is better to start off with than a dark colour. So. Beginning to stand out a bit now. Try not to lean in your paint either. If it's still wet, that is. If it's dry, then of course it won't matter. his neck too. Of course we've got the line where the uh, bow tie is but I'm going to paint that in a minute so you won't see it anyway. Okay, his chin as well. Okay, good old Jeffrey. Let's just do a little bit of your nose too, Jeffrey. There you go. I'm not going to leave his nose white. I'm going to paint that in. I'm going to use a slightly different colour on that. So I'm going to use a slightly different brush too. This is my small angled brush. I'm going to grab some white, a little touch of water in there. And I want to make his nose a little pinky, so I'm going to grab a little bit of yellow with my white and a touch of yellow because that'll make it a sort of a salmony pink. Let's see how that looks. And we can go all the see with this kind of a brush it's easy to go around the edges because it's got an edge to it may add a little bit more pink in with this but I'm going to start with this color so that's a little bit of white tiny bit of red and a bit of yellow but not too much Tricky going around the corner with this brush, so that's why you can use your small one if you wish. Especially with little hands, I know you'll find it a little bit harder probably to go around the corners. I'm going to get a bit more red. And I'm going to put a little bit more red actually coming down here a bit too. Just on the bottom part of his, uh, I guess you'd call it the nose. So just on that bottom part, see I'm giving it a little bit more of a red tone. Like so. Now I kind of like this red, this pinky tone, so I'm going to stay with this. And I'm actually going to paint the rest of his neck. Now I'm not going to do this bit because that's where my bow ties. I'm going to do in between his markings there with this colour. If you like a different colour and you want to change it up, then, oops, go do that. Doesn't matter if it's multicoloured even. Why not? All right. 
right. And I think the same on his face. I'm going to grab a little bit more white in with that. I don't want it too pink, but I'm going to do his little markings in between his markings with that pink too. Pinky tone. And not too pink though. You grab too much sometimes and then you have to kind of wipe it off and start again. Doing little fun animals like this, it's, uh, you know, it's fun to do. Okay, so I'm going to give his bow tie a nice bright colour. I think I'm going to go in for the red. So I'm going to grab a tiny bit of white with my red. Well, actually, a bit more white with my red because I'm probably going to put two coats on to cover that line. So I'm going to go in with a lighter red to begin with and then I'm going to give it another coat in a minute. Let me um, pick up more white first and then I'll go over it again. When you're approaching a painting, you know, you learn as you go along what works and what doesn't, but um, good thing about acrylic is you can fix pretty much anything with a bit of white. <laughs> White's my friend. I'm going to go over that again. As you can see, I didn't quite do his neck there, so I should probably get a little bit of that light tone back again just to do his neck there. In between there. Tiny bit of neck showing. I'm going to wash that off. In the middle there I am going to go red but of course when the other's dry I'm going to go over that with red too. So I shall wait for that to dry. In the meantime I'm going to decide what am I going to do for the colour around him. I'm going to use a big brush. If you've got a bigger brush, that's great. And I'm just going to do a multicolored background. So you can grab whatever colors you want and just go for it. Like it does not matter. Let's say if you want to do yellow, red, white, just mix it up. You know? Just grab whatever you've got on there and just make it a fun multicolored background. I will start off with the light colours and then if you want to add any other colours as you're going around you can. But I can make it like a confetti. Or you can leave it as it is. Careful when you're going around the outside, of course. You may want to use completely different colours, of course, than what I'm using. And you can pick up blue. I think I might just pick up some blue in a minute and see what that looks like. But if you're going to pick up blue, I would probably wash your brush off first, just so you can... Get a clean brush going. So I'm going to wash my brush off. I'm going to pick up some white and a touch of blue in there. And I'm going to put some blue up here. It's white, blue, as I said. Doesn't matter if you get a mix going, but if you're using a big brush, go in between these little bits, you might want to switch between a small and a big one. Because going around the outside takes a little bit of patience. So 
grab your small brush for those bits. I'll just grab a bit darker blue even up there because I want to just give it a different colour right up there. Maybe that's the sky. You could put one colour down and then just go over it when it's dry with another colour. So many opportunities to do whatever you want. As I get round to here, I'm going to pick up a bit of yellow. I'm going to make a sort of a light green colour. Doesn't matter if you've got a bit of blue on because uh, you can make it uh, interesting. Just with a bit of that colour on, why not? This is a bit tricky in between there. So get your small brush out. Don't do what I do. <laughs> I was run out of paint at this point. Use a lot of white in my paintings. Yes, Gerald, I have not forgotten your bow tie, don't worry. It's coming. Yeah, I think I like the multicolour background. It looks good. Got a bit darker there. See, I added a little bit of blue to my green. And I got a little darker as I'm going down here. It's fun to do the multicolour. All right. Jolly good, Jeffrey. Now then, let's go over your bow tie again. I'm going to grab some red. I'm going to give it another coat of red. Like that. Now I can pretty much cover my line that I made. And always, uh, if you you know do it once and you decide I want to do, it, I want to try it again, then by all means try it again. See how it turns out. Yes, I can still see see the line through, but I'm going to show you what I can do to actually hide that in a minute. Okay, so in the meantime, I'm just going to grab my small brush back, and I'm going to actually just go over this area here where his ear is because I don't like the way it's sort of goes right up to his face just there. So I'm going to take that one out and just take that bit out there. Okay. Right, so the final bit for Jeffrey is to give him some pol polka dots on his uh, bow tie. Now, you do need to wait for your um, paint there to be dry before you try it. So that's something that uh, you want to do before you go any further. So let's do that first. Um, you can blow it dry. You can fan it dry. You can get the hairdryer out, anything to get it dry. But you want some clean white. You want polka dots or maybe you want stripes. I don't know. Anything is 
I'm gonna see if mine is dry enough. So where I've got my line, I'm actually gonna do a dot so that I don't see it. But do make sure that yours is dry before you do it because uh, otherwise you'll be mixing your paint in. And I'm trying to uh, be careful on that. Because it'll mix in if it's still wet. So you can hold off if you want to. Small ones, big ones. It's like a Mickey Mouse tie, isn't it? Okay, final thing to do on your little Jeffrey the Giraffe painting is sign your name on the side. So you've got a small brush. You can just put your initials anywhere you like. I'm going to grab my tip of my brush again, roll it on there, and I'm just going to sign my name or my initials as I do right in this corner for this one. And there we go. That's Jeffrey the Giraffe. I hope you've enjoyed it and um, I hope you come again. See you soon. Bye.